Hello and welcome back to the channel, Learning Basic on the Spectrum. Now, before I get into it, this is another type-in sort of thing because I'm trying to answer some of the questions that are fired into the comments now and again. And I remember a long time back, somebody said, how do I make a character shoot like a bullet or a laser or something? So on the screen at the moment, I've got an A character. You can only go up and down this A. And if I push M for fire, M for fire or M for missile. <laughs> but anyway, if I push M, we get a laser beam firing. Q up, A down. Okay. There's the program. Very straightforward. Line 100 is where the uh, laser action happens. So if we push M on line 45, it goes subs to line 100. And then we plot the position of where we want our laser to begin. So as you can see on the screen there, 51 dash Y times eight minus 171. And then we've got a draw over ink to 100, zero. So it will draw a straight line. And then we want to get rid of that line. We put draw over one ink seven, which is the color of our paper, which is white minus 100 to get rid of it again. OK, 105. I've just put a little beeps in there just to um, give us that uh, laser effect. So let's just run it again. So, so this is going to be a bit of a type in for you because I've actually got a game which I want to show you now what, where I've used this very simple game. And I'll talk you through it. I'll take you to that now. Right, so here's the little game that I've made. It's called Box Shooter, using that technique that I've just showed you. Shoot as many boxes as you can. Q up, A down, M fire. You've only three lives, but I've also done something else in this little game, and you're going to see it now. So, there's our box. If I shoot, I've got a real crap bullet, okay, <laughs> which is useless. And I'm, to create that, I'm using a full next loop. And I'll show you in the program in a second. What I've done is I've put a timer on the game loop. Hear that noise? So when you hear that noise, you can then fire the lasers. Hear it again, and it returns back to the rubbish bullets. If the, box gets, if the box gets past you three times, it's game over, and it tells you what your score was at the end. So, simple little game. Here's the code. Sorry about the numbering, it's a bit all over the place. I did try to tidy it up by doing the um, 128k renumber, but it didn't like it for some reason, so you're just going to have to put up with it. <laughs> so, anyway, we begin with a randomize. We spoke about that in the last uh, video that I did because there's some random movements with that pink block or the magenta block, I should say, as it moves. So that's where the random comes in. Um, if we go down into the game loop, which is starts at 19. And if I pull down, uh, so line 45, if you look at line 45 and line 50, that is where the shooting happens. So I've got FR for fire. If it equals one, then it will go sub to 100. And that's where our laser beam is. If it's FR, I'll just pull that line down. That is where I've put the four next loop. So if it's FR equals zero, and A strings equals M, then for F1 to eight, step two so again f i've used the f to represent fire you do a little beep i go sub nasty and i'll explain that in a minute print at y dash five plus f because that's uh in front of our character and I've done a little minus sign there. And I, because I've put a step two there, I've put two spaces. One, two, before I 
put the minus sign as to act as our um, missile and then so that we don't leave a missile at the end to delete it I've put 5 plus 9 just to make sure that it clears it away gets rid of it and chr strings 128 is basically the same as a space so if you were doing um if you don't know what I mean by a space then if it was that for example just make sure I haven't put yeah that's right so and then finished it off with a next f so when you push the m it will do that for next loop and move that little minus sign that's basically all it is but of course the problem is with that while that's doing that you can't move the block until the next loop is finished so it's not as quick as the laser which makes the game a little bit difficult or difficult can't get my words out difficult so it just adds a little bit of a bit more of a challenge but basically there's 200 nasty so that's where our nasties are so as you can see I've got the ATTR statements in there on line 205 206 that's our nasty basically if the red laser hits it or the green bullet hits it then the nasty gets zapped now you'll see I've put um, ATTR9 now because we're using the overstatement I can't put 10 because uh, 1 times 8 paper colour would have been blue times 8 and then add 2 for red would have given us 10 but because I'm using the overstatement um, the overstatement's returning it to blue ink so it's 1 times 8 plus 1 for blue which gives you 9 so that's one thing to remember when um, if you're going to use that uh, technique you have to remember that you're reprinting over it so therefore it's not going to pick up the red it's going to pick up whatever the color is that you're asking to print the um, delete line if you like the erase line which was the color blue to match the screen color excuse me <coughs> so that's our um, basically our, our collisions list 210 bring it down a bit further right so if we look at line 225 that's where our random um, commands are being used to move the magenta block so that it uh, jumps about so if D which is its horizontal position equals 18 or 8 it will move C which I've assigned for its uh, vertical position it will basically move it either a, uh, uh, one, uh, 0 to 2 which is uh, random times 2 and then minus is random times 2 as well so if you remember from the last video if you're doing random times 2 so that would basically be 0 to 1 and then again it does it again minus 0 to 2 so it'll either get, make it go up or it'll make it go down all right now you may have noticed in when um, I was showing you the uh, let's take you there when I was showing you the loop where is it I put the go sub nasty inside the loop there for when I push M to fire and that's because the reason why I've done that is I noticed when if it's not in there and you push fire the the magenta block was slick going very slow when you were pushing the M because obviously the loop was playing the four next loop was playing so therefore the the block was freezing all the time so by putting that go sub nasty in there it's inside that um, loop as well so it will actually go sub to there and come back and keep that block moving quite smoothly and it worked quite well so that's why I put the go sub nasty inside there and that's about it I think really on this one um, just take it to line 100 
because that's where the laser is, which basically was what I've just shown you in the other example with the A shooting, exactly the same, 51 dash Y times A minus 171 is the plot for when we uh, start to draw the laser. Uh, I mean, uh, like I said, what I'm going to do is um, I'll do some screen freezes of this after the video and I'll also do some screenshots and put it up in the Facebook group. If you're not a member of the Facebook group, I'll leave all the descriptions and, and what have you down underneath the video. So let's run it again. So let's see how well I can do. So you've only got three lives. You see, if you decide to download the tap, you can change that in the program, up that up if you wish. But it just makes it a bit more challenging. And of course, you can't move your, your block until the bullet has stopped. But what I'll do is I'll um, probably just do screenshots for this one because I haven't worked out how to use that um, software yet where you can um, print the, uh, the coding up. So it's neatly displayed. So unfortunately, I'm just going to have to do screen copies until I've worked out how to use it. I can't remember the name of the software now. Unless somebody in the comments knows, and maybe you can put it underneath this video. Right, anyway, so I'll pause the screen for like 40 seconds for each um, part of the programs. So if you want to copy it from the YouTube channel, you can. If not, like I said, I will put it in the Facebook group, and maybe someone would be kind enough to use that software I was trying to explain, which I can't remember the name of, and you could print it below this video. Again, apologies for the numbering. I was kind of making this up as I went along just to make something quickly for the channel. So it's a little bit disorganized with the numbering. This will probably be the last um, learning basic video I'll do for a while going to have a bit of a break, refresh the mind, learn some new commands, and then I'll be back. But for now, I'm, I'm going to have a, a little bit of a break from the learning basic videos. I'll, I'll still be posting. I shall be doing a lot of type-ins, um, stuff that I've found on the internet, other people's work, because I think you can learn a lot from a type-in, um, from reading other people's code and working out how things work and stuff. So bear with me. The learning basic stuff will be back, but for now I'm just going to take a, a slight break from it. Anyway, here's the coding. <laughs> 